first off, we've got the Brolin Top Time Triumph. Now, this comes with full box and carry case. Comes with full box and papers. And it's unworn, apparently. Seems to be unworn. Still got the stickers on. Yeah, this one is actually unworn, so... Actually, how we can tell it's been unworn is if we have a look at the... Ooh, it's been worn a couple of times, ladies and gentlemen. But it's nothing too major. I didn't get that with my one. Where's my badge? <laughs> Why did you know I get a badge? Goldsmith's outer packaging. It makes it look a bit nicer. It makes it look like you've actually paid £4,500 for a watch. I really, do you know, I hate that, I hate that box so much. It hurts me. You are paying over £4,000 for a watch and you get that box. Holy moly. Good one to go for, 4850 They're retailing now for 4950 but you can't get a Triumph new anymore. They are getting a bit rarer. They are a limited production, not a limited edition. They will go up eventually in the future. It's going to be a long investment piece, but it will go up eventually. So it's a good one to go for if you're looking for an investment, but I would definitely buy this one and wear it, enjoy it, because that dial is just sensational. It deserves to be worn. It shouldn't be in a safe. Have a gander at that one. Tag Heuer Formula 1 Mario Kart. Now, this one's funny because these came out and they're limited edition, but they came out and literally every single model that was sold was put on Chrono 24 on eBay. Everyone put them above retail and no one gave a toss. But finally, one's now under retail, which is great. 3349, you get the lovely big red Tag Heuer box. And he's got a little Mario Kart on it. <laughs> now that's a box, Brightling. That's a box. Look what Tag Heuer are doing. A proper box. And this was less at retail. Full box and papers. I do like this watch, to be honest. I, I like the design. I love how you get a little muscle in the date. I think you also get one of the turtle shells as well, which is quite, quite cool. I'm like a child. I shouldn't be impressed by this, but I like it. I actually asked for one of these in retail, but they went so quickly. The, the strap is a nice turtle design as well. It's a, it's a really nice watch overall. It's a more fun watch. I mean, it's, it's not taking itself too seriously. And yeah, it's a great watch to go for. Uh, investment, I don't think. I don't think so. It's limited edition, but I don't think it's going to go up, to be honest. I think it's only going to go down, but it's a great price nonetheless. I don't think it's going to lose much value on 3349. A great one to go for if you're looking for a fun piece. Phenomenal. Really nice. So, have a gander. Omega Speedmaster Planet Ocean. So, this is from a professional dealer. I think you can talk to someone from Chrono24. This is a rose gold and white and stainless steel. Now, this is gorgeous. I must admit, I love I love the white Planet Oceans. They did do a 36mm, but it's always classed as a, a ladies watch, which put me off a bit. But this one is stunning. Oof. I presume this comes with the Omega wooden box, which is nice. Lovely coaxial movement. Stunning. Look, ooh. 6880 for brand new is good price as well. I would say off a 6.5, you might be able to get that. So, timepieces marked with red dot on request can be reordered and received by us within two to four weeks from the moment of order. Good one to go for. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I, I just love the white. I think it's just completely different to the rest of the Planet Oceans. Stunning. Have a gander. Any drug dealers in the house? Here we go. Watch for you. 39 grand. Oh. It's a Tag Heuer Monaco V4. The Phantom. This is a... When I say a stunning watch, I mean a stunning watch. It's beautiful. Even the box is sensational. Brawling. It's got a full skeleton dial, and oh my god, it's beautiful. I don't know, to be fair, you can't really call that a dial. It's just the movement with glass on it. It is. Oh. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Lovely. 
It looks like it's in very good condition. You got a forged carbon case. <sighs> then you got oh, the case back is just stunning. It looks like a tape recorder. It's phenomenal. Mm, really, really, really nice. Now that is a box you put on display. It is sensational. There's a very rare Halo timepiece. This timepiece was purchased new in October 2018. It was the Tag Heuer feature timepiece at Basel World. 2015, a new version of the V4 Monaco with its distinctive CMC carbon matrix composite. I have just retired and ready to let it go. Been serviced in Switzerland with two year warranty, limited to 50 pieces. Oh, honestly, phenomenal. Really, really nice, but 39 grand. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Holy moly. I would say have a gander, but have a dribble. <laughs> Omega C Master Railmaster. I'm doing a lot of Omegas. They're nice anyway. Seamaster Railmaster Coaxial 2503.52.00. 2750. No original box of papers, which is a bit disappointing. It's some subdial, so they seem to be a pretty reliable company. Really nice. The Railmaster is just a bit of a more of a boring watch. The same as when I had the Tudor Ranger. It looked boring, but it really grew on me. It molded to Mary. I think this one would do the same. Really nice. It looks boring off wrist, but when it's on the wrist, it's just really nice. It will be a great daily watch. The Railmaster was originally part of Omega's trio of releases in 1957, along with the Seamaster and Speedmaster, and boasted magnetic resistance as its key feature. Using a soft iron inner case, it was able to protect the movement up to 1,000 Gauss magnetic fields. Wow. Sound. But yeah, 2750. I would say offer 2650. Have a gander. Omega Seamaster again. Wow. Diver 300M. Now this is the... Ding, ling, 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 James Bond. So, I like this watch, but I don't like the mesh bracelet, if I'm being honest. I would put it on a leather strap or a rubber strap. Very, It's a very nice watch anyway. I do like the colorway. It's all right. What I don't like is how they haven't centered the bezel. It drives me nuts. Why have you done that? Why? Why? The box. Can you call that box? The carry case is nice. Much better than Breitlin. I like it, but I don't know how I feel about the James Bondness. It kind of puts me off, if I'm being honest. You've got the older Seamasters when they got 007 all over the dial, and it's just a bit. I don't know. It's a nice design, but the 007 does put me off. The James Bond stuff. Yeah. It's a nice one overall, though. 5.8 is a good price. So, you can't even offer. But, notebooks and papers. Have a gander. Tagquoise Silverstone. Now, this one is way too overpriced, if I'm being honest. But, 6.3, holy moly. It's in very, very good condition, though. These are getting really rare. These weren't loved at all. There was, like, the ugly duckling to the Monaco and the Monza. It's only all of a sudden come back into fashion. Ugh, I hate saying fashion. Ugh. But it's getting more popular now. I've always loved the Silverstone. But it's too late now. They're all going. But this one with full box and papers, this is mint as you can get really really good it's limited to 1860 pieces a really good one to go for but as i said 6.3 is quite dear but have a gander you know have a gander